Hello and welcome. I hope you guys are having a great day. This is the same day as my tobacco video as well as one of my oak tree videos. And I also filmed a video on eucalyptus, so I'll have to post them in intervals where I don't overwhelm you. <laughs> but I'm really excited. Queen Elizabeth Park right behind me. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the monkey tree or the monkey puzzle tree. So this over here is Araucaria Aracana. Um, it's native to the Aysen region of coastal Chile. It's a long-lived gymnospermic uh, evergreen tree. It's a conifer in nature, and it's just, it has this wonderful symmetry to it. It grows in opposite rings of five to six limbs, uh, very even internodes, and it has these really interesting, almost cactus agave-like um, growth tips. So this plant here loves wonderful drainage. It likes to have cooler winters, lots of moisture though, and it loves to have really um, really long seasons of rain. This plant here does not do very well in drought. It'll turn black on you and it'll grow a whole lot uh, slower. So I just wanted to show you another one over here. This one here is mature. This one's about 15 years old and it's just starting to form this really e iconic eggshell type structure. So this plant over here is only related to one other plant to my knowledge, which is the candelabra tree, which is native to Paraná or Pajana, which is in southern Brazil. But other than that, this is a very genealogically unique tree. And it's one that's in decline in the wild, so I highly recommend cultivating it. Um, it's only native in Chile, specifically middle coastal Chile. And it's a wonderful habitat for several uh, rodents, yeah, I know even some of their sugar gliders and some of their squirrel relatives like uh, residing in this tree too. And a lot of nesting roosting birds. So I just really wanted to show you guys what a mature specimen looks like. Absolutely ginormous. It can reach a height of up to 80 feet. A spread that's just ridiculously wide. It has this nice cascading feature to it. Once the bark starts to mature it'll turn this really strappy sort of lime green color. Uh, and for on the seating structures and all the uh, cones will eventually the scales will fall off first they turn bronze and then they turn brown and then they desiccate and this tree self mulches you'll get this wonderful mulch of the rays that fall off of it this very woody bark and it self fertilizes its own soil which is really cool so another thing about this plant is it has this really unique pine cone structure to it, which is very large. This structure is um, easily four or five times the size of my fist. They, they emit a whole lot of pollen later on into the summer and it makes a sound because it's just such high pressure when it does this. I call it a boof because um, that's kind of what it sounds like, but I'll try to find one of these pine cone structures just to show you. I don't know if you can see up there, but right on the very, very top, it's a little swelled up right on the very tips of the larger limbs. Those there are the pine cones and really, really hard to germinate. Good luck germinating them. So hard to grow from seed, but just really interesting. So this over here is a very attractive, symmetrical, um, fuss-free, although it doesn't like drought, a uh, relatively um, blight-tolerant plant that I highly recommend for golf courses, areas that have a lot of space. But there's a couple problems I will say with it. And that is that it does tend to get a lot of bleeding of sap on its bark and it does have girdling roots. It has what's called elephant trunkism within trees and for that reason it's not very storm proof. It's very susceptible to falling over and especially as these trees get older, although they're very long lived, oftentimes exceeding 100 years of age. So that over there is my little intro to the monkey puzzle tree, true wonder of nature, uh, endangered species native to Chile. And yeah, easy to establish, highly recommend watering it a lot in well-draining, relatively fertile soil. Uh, have a good day, you guys. Stay blessed. Thank you for watching.